All right, so say we wanted to draw 10 circles. Um, and we have some code here uh, to start uh, doing that. So our code might look something like that, even though we haven't created this um, circle uh, Y array quite yet. Just a second. Um, I'll just create that y, circle Y array quickly here. So float circle Y. Oops, float, uh, we want it to be an array. Circle Y equals, and this is another way you can uh, create arrays. New float of length 10. So we want 10 containers, and it's of type float. So this is the syntax uh, to create 10 containers. We haven't assigned all the values yet. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to assign all of the different values. So circle y at 0 equals, uh, bah, 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 bah. what did I say here? Um, <laughs> Let's just set them equal to uh, like zero, uh, equal to their indexes. So um, I'm just gonna, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so this we have to change to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and the last index of an array that is 10 indices long, or that is 10, uh, yeah, 10 containers long is 9. So what we're doing right there is setting the value of each of the starting positions of these circle y's at the, the, the like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if we run this program, um, you're going to see that, in fact, it does, like there is that circles each start at a slightly lower down Y position. Okay. Well, this is already super annoying, right? And you have a technique at your disposal that we can use to handle these things in a much more elegant way. So let's use a for loop. And we're just going to create an int I uh, inside our for loop. And we're going to set it equal to zero initially. And then we're going to say every time through the loop, we want to check to see if int i is greater than the length, uh, the number of items in our array. So there are 10 items in our array. So we just want to say, like, keep going as long as i is less than 10 um, because uh, the indices start at zero, so as long as it's less than 10, we know that we can keep going. And each time through the loop, we just want to say i plus equals one. So take whatever is in the container called i and add one to it. And now we have a variable <coughs> here, which will cycle over all of these values, uh, zero through nine. So at first I will be zero. It'll do whatever code we have inside the braces. Then I will become one, do whatever code, two, three, four, until this is violated, right? Until I is no longer less than 10. So all of this code now can be transformed into one line. And we can say circle Y at index I equals I. So whatever the value is of i right there, we can store it in the container of the same index. And this will produce identical results as the last video. But it comes with a super, uh, with, a, with a very large benefit, which is uh, we can now, instead of having that pattern, we can say we want the starting y position to be four times the index of that circle. So what will this produce? Take a minute to try and figure out what drawing this will produce. I hope you pause it and try and figure it out. And then now I'll show you. And it will produce a very similar line of circles, but that's just uh, each circle is now four pixels lower than the other, than the circle to its, uh, to its left. So 
And if we want to increase that even further, we can just set this equal to 10. So now each circle will be at the base of the preceding circle. Um, and you can see that, in fact, the top and bottom of, uh, of adjacent circles is now uh, next to each other. So you might imagine we can do that exact same thing with all of this code down below with the drawing of this stuff also. So we can take all this junk here. I'm just going to like uh, take out one. I'm going to use it. Uh, well, we could even just use this one loop. Um, why don't we keep it as two loops for just a minute, though? Um, again, well, you can actually just put this right in here. So uh, ellipse at circle I. Uh, this is at five. Oh yeah, um, this should be, now, um, I'm going to just run this code and let you see it, and then we're going to talk about it in the next video, why it's different. Okay.